So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I say that immediately just given the length of the question. So whenever I see long word problems like this, I immediately get into the mind frame that I will need to write down any quantitative information that I read as I'm reading it, right? So I don't want to read the entire thing and then have to remember what I read or go back and try to find the information after the fact. So this question says the average price per pound of oranges at a certain grocery store started at $1.15 and increased at a constant rate each month for several months until the average price per pound reached $1.41. So I'm going to just write that down. So $1.15 and then we added some unknown amount per month. Right? But it was a constant amount, so that's why I put X. X is a single number. And then eventually, after a certain number of months, right, we, re we get to $1.41. Right? So basically a 26 cent, 0 0.26, 26 cent increase. So then the question goes on to say the equation 1.15 plus this equals 141 represents this situation. Okay, so cool. So I'm going to just write that down. 1.1 plus 0.065x equals 1.41, where x is the number of months after the average price per pound was $1.15. Which is the best interpretation of the number 0.065 in this context? So obviously, if we're multiplying 0.065 times x, and we know that x is the number of months, um, after the average price per pound was $1.15, that means we are multiplying this 0 0.065 each month, right? We're adding 0 0.065 each month, or we are adding six and a half cents per month, right? And again, if I looked at this from a um, equation status standpoint, like a y equals mx plus b, I be able to say like my B value, which is like my Y intercept is the $1.15. That's the thing that's not changing. We know that's the original price. My M is the 0 0.065, right? I have the X there where it belongs. And then my $1.41 really just represents the price at a certain fixed point in time. But, right, I don't need that to create an equation, right? Because if it was only one month, then maybe, well, it definitely would not be $1.41. If maybe if it were 20 months, it definitely would not be $1.41, right? So this Y value changes as the number of months change. So I'm relating this equation that was given to us to this linear Y equals MX plus B. How did I know to do that? Well, it's because the question says that it increased at a constant rate each month. Whenever I see constant rate on this test, I'm thinking linear. Whenever I think linear, I think Y equals MX plus B. So we're just being asked, well, what is this 0 0.065? What does this you know, 0 0.065 mean? And we know that it's the slope. So answer choice A says the average price per pound of oranges. That's definitely not what the slope means here. B, the percentage increase in average price per pound of oranges. This is not a percent. This is actual dollars. Uh, C, the rate of change in dollars per month in the average price per pound of oranges. That's our answer, right? Rate of change is another way to describe slope. So also keep that in mind for this test. You see rate of change, it is slope. Choice D, just to make sure, the total increase in dollars in the average price per pound of oranges after X months. No, this is a per month change. So it's not the total increase. It's just how much you increase each month. So C is the best answer to this question.